on um, December 15, 2018, my mom actually passed away in her sleep. It was very sudden, it was devastating for the whole family. And for the first time in my life, I felt lost. For as long as I've lived, have been alive, my mom has always been there. And then suddenly for her to be gone, my brain could not comprehend it. And I would walk down the stairs of our house, expect my mom to be sitting at the kitchen table, eating or reading a book, right? My brain wasn't catching up fast enough to this reality. It's been hard because my mom was the glue. So how do you pick up the pieces when, when we are, right, broken? But through my grief, it has made me a better chaplain. You know, not, and I'm not saying that you need to experience loss in order to be a better chaplain, but it's opened a part of my heart that, I, that was never opened before. So when I'm, when I'm with patients and I'm with families, it feels different. And again, not that I know what they're going through, but I can connect with them on a level I couldn't before. Right, just like those families that come to the Hope Retreat, they can connect because of their shared loss of a child. I believe that life goes on even without my mom because of the power of the resurrection, because of Jesus, because of God's love. My mom is pushing me forward despite her not being here. She was my number one fan. And I still think she, I still feel her. I still feel her presence pushing me forward. It was my mom's dream for me to be a pastor. Here I am living my dream, her dream. My mom visits me in my dreams. Yeah. And it's actually in my dream where my mom told me, she said, you better take care of Debbie. Yeah. As if to say that I bless and affirm your relationship. You see, my mom didn't approve of, of our relationship, but because she loved me so much, she was so kind to Debbie. I mean, she was, just loved Debbie. But again, she didn't approve of us. She wouldn't give us her blessing. So in my dreams, when she tells me, you better take care of Debbie. Yeah. She's saying, yeah, I get it. I give you my blessing. She's still with me, right? Jesus says in verse 35, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Radical hope in the midst of grief. This is a tension that we live in. And it's hard and it's painful and it's devastating. But I believe Jesus meets us where we are. And it is through his love and his grace and his res resurrection that there is hope. Always, there's always hope. 